The original inhabitants of the Federal Capital Territory have decried the lack of representation of their people in the core structures of governance responsible for service delivery. These concerns were raised at the launch of a project by the Center for Human Rights and Civic Education in Abuja, equipping the original inhabitants with skills required to advocate for their fundamental rights. Habib Alawa reports, and after this report, David Alabi will bring you updates in business. The House of Representatives recently considered a constitution alteration bill to change the administrative structure of the Federal Capital Territory. The bill sought to remove the president as the chief executive officer of the FCT and replace him with an elected mayor who will administer the FCT as the chief executive. The original inhabitants of the Federal Capital Territory have been clamoring for the review of this clause in the 1999 Constitution regarding the status of the FCT for years. Amidst calls for the creation of a state from the FCT, they are also seeking improved representation for their people. The FCT administration has established many, many health care, primary health care facilities. But the rural areas, the satellite towns, are bustling with people every day because they can't afford, of course, to stay in the city. So there's a huge population of satellite towns. And uh, the medical facilities there are also being overstressed. Unlike other citizens of Nigeria in various states who have the right to vote in a governor and a state house of assembly, the FCT original habitats have been denied such by the Constitution. This project therefore presents a unique opportunity for the federal government, including the presidency and the National Assembly, to come together to prioritize and respond to the legal discrimination. The FCT is well aware of these agitations and only ask that the original inhabitants seek implementation of their demands in a lawful manner. In these engagements, we will realize how we can robustly harness the potentials strengthen the people, galvanize support for them, despite the situation of the seat of the federal government. These meetings will no doubt give us the opportunity to work together for the benefit of all. The FCT inhabitants are demanding that six federal constituencies should be created as against the present two, as well as three senatorial districts as against the existing one. The legislative powers over the FCT are vested in the National Assembly, which is why the FCT budget is laid in both chambers. Habida Lawal, TVC News, Abuja.